Hello and welcome to Infinity. Layers can be a little bit tricky when you're looking at how they are positioned because they can be inside an, a layer and it can be outside and there are a couple other positions it can be. We talked a little bit about it before but this is more about that kind of thing. So normally as a default if I put a layer in say HSL it appears as a child layer here so it only applies to this pixel layer. Um, it can also be put above, I can drag it above there so that's at the same level and that applies to everything below. And if I delete that now because if I go to the assistant here then you've got here there are three choices down here add adjustment as child layer and you can do the same with do the same with masks and the same with filters uh, set those separately you can set either that as a child layer uh, which is the default or you can set it to appear at the top level as we saw just now so let's see some of the effects with this so let's put in first of all let's put in an hsl and bring that up and we'll turn up saturation there we go Ooh, this is just to show the effect now if I put in, let's see, let's put in a black and white layer. Look, it's put it up there. And the reason it's put it up at the, at the normal layer level is because I had the HSL layer here selected to get it below. So let's delete that for the moment. So if I've got this selected as I just put it in, I need to have the pixel layer selected. Now it will appear down below there. So I put in black and white and that's, I'll leave that as it is, so that's turned that black and white. Now we've got a question of which order does it work on and it goes first of all it does the HSL and then the black and white and we can see this if we take the H HSL and if we play with this see this has an effect yeah so this is working because it's saturating the color and then turning it black and white afterwards. However if I take the bottom one here and drag it up over the icon so I get a little blue vertical bar that's now processed first now the HSL is not working and it's because it's already been turned to black and white first so there's no colors for it to play with the saturation so what if I now take this and drag it above which is going to work here this is going to work here again no because any child layer here is processed before any layer above. And we'll drag it also to a third position, which is down here. See the, the, the horizontal blue bar? So now look at the layers here. You've got this one and now this one here. So does it do the HSL first or the black and white first? Let's test it. And look, it, it does do this. So in other words, it does this for this level first all right and this one first and then I'll do an extra one here just to show where it is if I, and and if you want to force it to go to the top by the way you can also go to select and deselect all layers and I set a, a shortcut of control Q because I do it a lot um, now because it hasn't got any layer selected if I put in something say I put in curves then that appears at the top here and then the sequence in which things are done it does the one down here called the clipping layer first so it's indented not as much but still indented indented more that it does next and at the top it does that one third okay so just remember those sequence and within each of those the masking layers it processes top down the bottom layer here it processes bottom up here so that clipping layer and at the top it also processes bottom up so this is something that's worth noticing and no noting is which way around it goes and how it works so just an example of this I take that curves off and I put this black and white layer down underneath here which is which way then is this going to do is it going to do the HSL first or the black and white first it's because it's at the not indented quite so much it's the clipping level it's the black and white first so if I then bring up the HSL and I play with the saturation 
nothing happens. If I bring that up to above there, so I get a little blue horizontal bar there. Now, because it's the bottom of the clipping layers, it gets processed before the black and white. So now we get an effect with it. Okay, that's enough for now. And I hope that was useful. And thank you very much for watching.